Hello everyone, in today's video let's have a look how we can separate an image into an R, G and B channel. We will also have a look how we can restore the original color from the R, G and B channels. So let's get started. Before I start separating channels, let me duplicate the current layer three times for each channel we will be creating. The first method to separate a channel is by using a curves adjustment layer. This is going to be our red channel layer, so I will keep the red channel intact. In the green and the blue channel, I will flatten the curve, meaning I am removing all the channel information. Let me turn off the layers above, and as you see, we have a nice red channel. Perfect! Let's use the second method to separate the green channel. This method is very similar to the previous method, but instead of using a curves adjustment, I will use a channels mixer. As we want to keep the green channel, we go to all other channels and set their values to zero, which results at the end with the green channel. To create the blue channel, I will use my preferred method, which is using a procedural function. From the live filters, let's add a procedural texture. Now, we only want the blue channel. So let's add two equations with a value of zero. They are automatically assigned to the red and green channel. As you notice, we have already separated the blue channel. For completeness, I will add another equation for the blue channel and set its value to B, which stands for the blue value of the source layer. Pretty cool. Now, how can we combine them back? Well, that is easy. We just need to add them to each other. And to add a layer, you guessed it, we will use the add blend mode. So if we set the blend mode of the blue and the green to add, we get our original image color back. Pretty awesome. Let me group them and give it a name. Let's suppose we wanted the channels as a black and white image, just like when using the channels panel. As you see, in the channels panel, each channel is presented in black and white. Suppose we want to have the red channel as black and white. An easy way could be to use the channel layer we created earlier and apply a black and white adjustment, which works perfectly. Let me remove these two layers and show you two additional methods how you can get the black and white image of a channel. If we go back to the channels panel, select the red channel, and right click on it, we can select the load to pixel selection from the context menu. We have a selection of the red channel. In order to get a black and white image of the selection, we need to apply three steps. First, we need a pixel layer. Then we need to fill the selection with white in the pixel layer. And as a final step, we will need to add a black fill layer below it. And there is our red channel as black and white. Let's group it and give it a name. Now, I will just repeat the same process for the green and the blue channel. There we go, all the channels as black and white and grouped nicely. Although this works, let's have a look at the second method which is way faster. Let me duplicate the original layer three times, one for each channel. We will just add a procedural texture to the first one. As I want this layer to be the red channel in black and white, I can just add three equations for the red, green and blue channels and set their values to R, which stands for red. Awesome, we have our red channel as black and white. 
I will duplicate this layer two times and move them to the other layers. For the green channel, we will use the value G instead of R, and you guessed it, for the blue channel, we will use the value of B. Let's group it and name it so we know what this group stands for. That was pretty awesome. This brings us to the final section of this video. How can we get a color image from black and white channel layers? If we can make our layers contain the channel color, we can just add them just as we did in the beginning of the video. So, we need to convert the grays and the whites to the color of the channel. Let me copy the last RGB grayscale group and see how we can achieve this. For this blue channel, we need to convert the whites to blue. Any ideas what would work for us? Of course the gradient map adjustment. With the gradient map adjustment, we can map the color according to their brightness. We want the white to become blue and keep the blacks as black. Superb! We successfully converted to a colored channel layer. Let's repeat the same for the other channels. I will duplicate the gradient map and move them to the other channel layers. We just need to adjust the end color per channel color. As you might have noticed, I have switched to the RGB sliders, which makes selecting a pure red or blue super easy. If we change the blend mode of the blue and the green to add, we get our original colored image back. Easy peasy, but let's do it in an even easier way. I will duplicate this group and remove all the gradient maps. Now, instead of using a gradient map, I will use the procedural texture filter again. For the blue layer, I just have to say that the blue channel will use the blue value and we don't want the red and the green, so they can be zero. If I duplicate this to the other layers and change the values accordingly, we get our image back again. Super duper! How easy is that? I hope you liked this video. In a later video, I will explain how we can use the various channels for creative purposes. But for now, Thanks for watching and until next time.